What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I just want to give you guys a quick update as to what's been going on in the past couple of days. Um, I've actually purchased a couple of different things in, uh, in terms of uh, coin things and coin stuff. So, uh, first of all, I bought these. Uh, I need a new container for taking the coins back to the bank, right? So, my bank has a, a coin counter. So, I bought these uh, one gallon HDPE high density polyethylene uh, containers. And I know, I'm sorry, this camera really doesn't have a good wide angle, but uh, currently holding this camera as far back as I possibly can. Still can't get the whole thing in the frame of the camera, but. Um, so, yeah, these are actually really small. When I originally got these, it comes in a pack of four. And uh, when I originally got these, I really thought that they screwed up and only gave me like a half a gallon or something. But believe it or not, uh, like I said, this camera really has a bad wide angle. But um, I have tested it. Obviously, the uh, the whiskey bottle is a gallon. And so if you fill it up with water and fill up the uh, the jars, it, uh, you know, it, it, it fits the entire... Uh, contents of the whiskey jar in the in the jar so it actually is a gallon I've tested it more than once I actually couldn't believe it but um, believe it or not um, you know uh, looks can deceive and so uh, you know this is obviously going back to the bank I actually fit a lot more uh, about 25% uh, more I estimate uh, coins in my uh, than my usual uh, container that I take them in so uh, definitely uh, it was worth it also, let's see if I can put you guys back in the tripod here. Hold on one second. So I actually made a coin purchase. So this is... Uh, I'll give you a hint. This is my first coin that I have, which has been graded. That's right, I bought a graded coin. Uh, spent a little bit of money on it. I realized I kind of overpaid a little bit. And I'll explain to you in just a second, so make sure I got everything. All right, so I purchased this. It's graded by NGC. This is proof 67. This is a Roosevelt dime. Like I said, proof 67, a 1950. This is, uh, from what I understand, I haven't really researched it fully yet. Um, did a little bit of research before I bought it, obviously. But this is the first year they started making proof sets. So they only had a mintage of about 51,000. And that goes for, I think, all the nominations. Penny, nickel, dime, quarter, and half. So there it is. So if you want to actually look this up, you can go to NGC's website. Uh, I forget what I googled exactly. Um, like a authenticator or like a, you know, like a, like a, how should I say this? Uh, I guess like a reverse, well anyway, you can just uh, go to the website and type in the, um, the serial number and get all the stats on it. So, let's show you the reverse. Proof 67, still has a lot of detail, obviously, it better be, since it's proof 67, but uh, let's see, there's a little uh, safety, uh, little hologram thing, so it's not... Ah, not fake. Zoom in a little bit. Put a loop on this thing. So. See the edge there. This one's actually really nice. There were a couple other ones that um, didn't have the uh, the nice polished planchet look, and essentially looked uncirculated. But it was actually graded proof, so I don't know what that was all about. Maybe it was just a bad picture, but this one looked the best. So a little uh, background: um, the Red Book value for this, I looked it up online because I don't actually have Red Book. Um, 
is I believe in this condition proof 67 is something like $280 but the problem is you know the, the actual p the, the price that people are actually paying for this coin isn't $280 it's about 90 uh, to 100 so I saw a listing for about 95 free shipping and on eBay obviously and um, I offered the guy 80 and he accepted it so um, I told my friend about this who I actually coin roll hunt with and uh, he kind of uh, you know yelled at me a little bit and uh, told me how I overpaid a lot and so uh, today he sent me I actually got this yesterday I was gonna do an unboxing video but uh, I got home late and you know ripped the package open because I was excited and didn't realize I that I should have saved it until I guess today um, anyway so um, yeah so he, he showed me a listing that was going on today and uh, it sold for about 45 so I I overpaid but you know what it's my first graded coin um, and that obviously that mistake won't happen again so I'll make sure I do all my research and uh, so this was kind of an impulse buy I wasn't expecting the guy to accept the you know the, the offer so uh, you know obviously a red flag went up when he accepted it within 10 minutes of, of me posting it so um, you know so I, I kind of had an inkling as to the fact that I kind of overpaid for it but whatever so I obviously uh, a new goal is to collect all the proofs from 1950 the problem is um, this is the I believe this is the cheapest along with the the nickel and the, the penny uh, excuse me the cent and so the quarter and a half go I know the quarter is worth currently going for around 200 to 300 um, the half is going for at least 300 plus I've seen a couple for almost 500 um, so I don't know I guess uh, this is going to take me a while to get obviously and uh, actually have a uh, purchase some more silver so that should be coming hopefully next week but we'll see uh, obviously make a video about that and so yeah that's all I wanted to talk about again this is a really nice my first graded example and uh, definitely uh, I'm happy even though I kind of overpaid a little bit. So, uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to support the channel. Like this video because everybody likes silver and graded coins. And leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. And I will see you all next time. Take care, everybody.